TV, uh, works with Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, um, works with Chrome OS if you've got a USB port and also works with uh, Android boxes as well. You'll probably find that it'll work with most smart TVs but again I'm not going to say yeah it works with smart TVs because some will, some won't, depends on how the driver reacts to your TV. It uses a USB uh, micro receiver which is the Logitech Unified Remote Receiver. So if your device specifically says it supports that, then great stuff, use it. But for £20 and 99p, or even for £30 at full price, uh, quite a nice little keyboard if you're using it for a media centre. Or even if you're using it on PC and using a separate wireless mouse as well, for just a bit of comfort or flexibility, it's a good thing. So let's have a look and see what we get. I'm desperately trying to think now if there's anything I've forgotten to mention about this product. So if I have, I do apologise. Let me see, from the box what we've got a uh, built-in touchpad, which is a good feature, so it means if you're sat on the couch or sofa and you're watching TV, you don't have to find a mouse or somewhere for the mouse pad to work rather than sort of tracking it on your jeans and going crazy because the mouse isn't working. I'm trying to pause the video, but whatever. Um, so it's got a 10 meter wireless range. It's got a normal uh, sort of PS2 style keyboard layout and they say that the battery life uh, is up to 18 months. Now, I don't really know how they quantify that, whether they had someone using it for 18 months just doing repeated tasks, but to be honest, even if it lasts 12 months or even 6 months, I think that's pretty good going because uh, I hate replacing batteries, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so what do we get? The keyboard. With the built-in trackpad, which is another quite a nice um, sort of mid grey, gun grey, gun metal grey. It's not black. It's got quite a nice sheen to it. Uh, got accent colours of yellow. So if you're trying to tie it in with a PC build and you've got yellow accents, then that's good. You've got tr uh, touchpad buttons with quite a nice clip. The touchpad uh, hasn't got a clicker, but if you tap it, it will act as a mouse click. So we've got your media buttons for uh, volume up, volume down, and mute. And along the top, you've got your function keys, which are actually programmable uh, with Logitech software if you choose to download it. You don't have to, uh, on some operating systems, it will automatically download and be in your control panel, but you don't have to. Another nice feature of this is we've got your trackpad. If you're holding it, it's quite a nice grip actually. If you're holding it and you're using the trackpad here, you can navigate with your right thumb and you've also got a left mouse click in this top corner. So rather than navigating, then click, navigate, click, if you're selecting items on the desktop or um, trying to copy paste that sort of thing, you can move that and press the button while you're doing it to move things. So it's a nice feature. Uh, all the keys are Quite a nice tactile feel, a little bit slippery. Don't know whether that's new and it's still got like a coating on it, but yeah, it feels quite nice. So on the back here, we've got the battery compartment. There's two AA batteries in there, already supplied. And all we do is remove your tag. And now that is active. There is on the back a on-off switch. So green for on, I believe. And I switch across red. That means off. So that's quite handy. So again, to save batteries when you're not using it, turn it off, put it in the cupboard or underneath the sofa, whatever you're doing. Because it is quite slim, you probably put it under most sofas anyway. So you don't really have to worry about where to store it if you're using it for a media PC. If you're using it on a desktop, then um, there are rubberized grips on the bottom, so it's uh, going to be reasonably stable on a desk. It's not going to be sliding around all over the place. So, yeah, it's quite nice. And this is your Logitech Unified USB receiver, which is tiny, but it's quite handy. So if you've got a device where you've only got, say, two USB ports, uh, the actual receiver part isn't going to get in the way of any other USB devices plugging in next to it, or at least on most USB ports. That shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, we're going to try this now. We're going to plug it into the PC and I'll give you a brief walkthrough of how the software works on a PC and show you in use.
Hi, welcome back. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how-tos and we are here with the Lazy Man's keyboard, the Logitech K400 Plus TV and I'll go into the reason why we're here with this thing. This is not a Logitech keyboard. This is the Sun Vision Rio with a built-in thumb pad or mouse pad or whatever. But it's got the accuracy of a, uh, well I don't want to say it on camera, but it's not very accurate. Half the time it goes to sleep it won't wake up. And I've got to have the receiver on the top of the TV with a bit of uh, black tack to hold it in place. Because it won't reach the receiver of the PC behind. So, this thing, no more. Now, hopefully going to change to this one. See it's a little bit bigger. Mostly due to the trackpad on the end or the mouse pad or whatever you want to call it. And to excuse the noise, that's the cat scratching himself. This is the cat's room really, not our living room. So cats are far more important than us. So you've got to let them do what they want to do. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to plug in the USB receiver. I'm going to unplug the receiver for that piece of shit. Uh, piece of stuff and gonna hopefully start using this. So here we go. So this on here, this is where I've got the receiver glued to the top of the TV screen just so it gets reception from probably well three meters away if that. So gonna take a gamble, gonna remove this and the slightly thing. I'm going to get rid of the extension cord that went to the PC. I'm going to lose that all together. Well, I'm not that confident, so we won't lose it too far. So we've got our Logitech unifying receiver, which we're going to plug into the top USB port of the computer behind the TV. There is a computer down behind you. You can probably just like to see a little blue glow. So plugged it in and by that telltale noise of windows, it's found something and we've got a mouse pointer. So let's retire back to the sofa and see how good it is. Right, okay, so let's put it into green mode and get rid of this bit of tack. Just stick all my fingers together and we have a mouse, an accurate mouse, a mouse that is working. So that is what I expected. Now hopefully, in the future, I can be sat here relaxing with Mrs. Churchill on the sofa, watching The Walking Dead that we've downloaded illegally from the Pirate Bay. No, well, we haven't, we haven't, we don't do that. Watching uh, iPlayer from the BBC, because we have a TV licence, sat here in comfort without having to keep on getting up because the mouse has stopped working or we can't press play balls or whatever because the kids want something or Amos Bailey is on the phone because he can't fix a PC and he needs my help to do it but I digress again so it's all working fine Windows key is working let's try what can we open up uh, let's have a look at the news uh, there we go, let's open up. Today's April Fool's Day, there's been some interesting news today. Well, I wish the news was something about Virgin Media's broadband being quicker. This is horrendous. Uh, there we go. So, let's try some scrolling, two fingers scrolling. features of the previous keyboard I kind of liked because there was a scroll wheel on it as well as well as the ball but two finger scrolling just like a laptop great stuff okay uh, let's see what else can we open now let's see let's have a look at the weather let's maximize that okay and we can scroll through can we 
And there we go, we're scrolling through the weather. Well, not much more we can ask for, I suppose. Actually, I suppose what we could try is if we have some uh, audio. Let's go to uh, YouTube. Now, unfortunately, you won't get any audio because our stupid cat is licking itself right next to the microphone of the other camera. And we're going to tell all over the blinds just to put as much interference as possible. I love these cats. Okay, let's have a look at YouTube. And. Oh, conveniently, it's come open to my channel. And what have we got here? Oh, what is this? The Micro Touch Max battery powered trimmer. Let's have a look at that. Let's see what the audio is like. Oh, it's really quiet. And there we go, there's the volume button working up and down. Don't like him. Let's mute him. So there we go. Proof in the pudding. I'm going to use my video. Let's pause that. Pause. Okay. So anyway, there we are. Logitech K400 Plus TV. Designs for people like you and me. Let out on the couch trying to use a computer from a distance. If you want one, the description has got all the links, uh, all the other notes from this video. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.